What? For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden Cheese as always. Got an explosive run play formation for you guys today. This is one of the meta formations dating back years and years and years ago in Madden 22. And I've, it's something that I would always recommend running as a running formation, but since the patch came out, I also have some really explosive passing plays. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to those passing plays in today's video, but if you guys want to see them tomorrow, if I don't get to them in this video, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The formation is the deuce close at a single back. These plays are all going to be shown from my Saints offensive ebook uh, and the plays today I'm going to show are mostly going to be run plays. Now the run play that most people have to remember if you play man for a couple years is the halfback wham. A couple years back the halfback wham was one of the most overpowered and glitchiest run plays in the game. So this will be the four plays in my audibles. The halfback wham one of the best inside runs. The halfback zone week one of the best inside runs and then the halfback stretch which is one of the best outside runs. So those would be the three plays that I would have for running and then the PEX post cross was like I said it's a one play touchdown against every defense in the game hit the like button let me know in the comment section if i don't put it out in this video uh, and i'll put it out when it's in its own video tomorrow on the defensive side we're just going to go ahead we're going to go with random three four as always this video is brought to my coin sponsor aoeh.com if you guys want to get your money up like mine check them out link in the description below use your discount code money to get three percent off it's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins on the market so one of the best things about this formation is you can really run it to either side. You have an even formation and you have a tight formation. So the blocking on a formation like this, it's just all in the box. And that's gonna help me out no matter what play I run from it, whether it's the, the wham, the zone weak, the stretch, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have the ability to just straight up flip the play. If I see something on, on the other side, I just basically flip it with the right stick and no real um, you know motions or adjustments or anything that's gonna happen uh, like you would against a lot of other formations. I don't really find that this formation needs anything as far as like uh, you know motions across or anything like that a lot of times when you motion anyway you don't really get the motion that you want you basically get like a full back which is something that you can do i mean on a play like this especially i can give myself all that extra overpowered blocking and you can see how you know kind of gives away where you're going but it doesn't really matter because it's still a really good play because it's an even formation your opponent's never going to know what they're looking at and i still think it's best just to run it as is so this play here the first play that i'm choosing which is the halfback zone week this is going to be best against like cover twos cover two man cover two zone because typically the safeties will play back and that will just give you a good opportunity to get to the next level as you can see right there the first play I get about seven very consistent inside run play this is a play where really all you have to do is run it to whatever side um, has the bigger gap or you know away from a superstar player but that's pretty much it and you can see right here there's a much there's a bigger gap on this side once I get through that first hole I mean if I had to stretch that to the sideline a little bit quicker I probably would add a much bigger run but there's nothing really to that. The halfback zone week is a very easy play to diagnose. It's just a good inside run. I do feel like sometimes it's a good idea to motion across this tight end as well. Um, he doesn't always run off. I mean, sometimes he does his job a little bit better, as you can see right there. Like I said, it's a little bit of a giveaway of where you're going with the ball or where you're going with the play, but it's still uh, something that uh, helps. Like right here, I'll go ahead and I'll take it to the other side. Same thing. Give myself that extra blocker. You can have success doing this, although ultimately, like I said, it'll definitely have the user crashing in that area. Now, the Wham is another play. It's probably best against cover two, man, or zone once again. This play here, you can flip with the right stick. You got to flip the entire play with the right trigger, but ultimately, it's the exact same uh, inside run um, I just feel like the wham play it was never really my favorite run but I know a lot of people that really like the wham plays you can see right here the first run around the gate we're getting about 10 had to make a little bit of a shifty move there but this is something where I would say it's kind of counterintuitive I would say it'd be best to run it uh, once again I'm gonna run to the gap 
but you're gonna see how this wham here uh, basically splits open that hole. And then like I said, I mean, it's just like a trap play. Trap plays in general are very overpowered, but the wham play is still very effective. It's still one of the meta run plays in the game. Uh, as you can see, I mean, we're getting, um, you know, just some very big runs. I mean, I'm getting 10 yards before anybody's even getting close to me. Like here we have an all out blitz. This is something where typically you probably want to run the stretch, but ultimately I can still have success with this. As you can see, I mean, we just get, you know, all the blockers. When you see that hands up animation, that means you're getting uh, good blocks. So you got two options for good inside runs, but to me, the best run is the stretch. The outside run is going to be key. Cover three, cover four, uh, man blitzes, anything. This is going to be the best way to go, in my opinion. The fact that you can flip it and run to either direction is what's really so key about it. Once again, you have an even formation. Your opponents never, there's no real tell. There's no real tell on which direction you're going with this stretch play which to me is what makes this such a good play so we'll go ahead and we'll just keep doing this like i said i can just run this outside all game especially against cover three and cover four with the cornerbacks play back here it looks like we have what's probably a cover three but if it is a man coverage you'll see those cornerbacks will follow the x receiver away as you can see that's probably what happened there that's pretty much just a foot race to get around to the outside like i said this is a very consistent run like I said, my favorite thing about this is definitely the fact that there's no tell. There's no giveaway as to where you're going. Like I said, right there, you can see that guy. He just gets a piece. All he has to do is get a piece, and I can sprint around and get outside and get a very big play. And that's pretty much how you want to make your reach. Your, your wham, anytime you have a spread defensive alignment, the wham is going to be huge. Same thing with the half back zone weak. They're going to be best against cover twos. Both of them are going to be best against cover twos. But the wham can really be good against anything. Uh, and then the stretch is really going to be best against man coverages, cover threes and cover fours. I mean, you're really just looking for where the, uh, the space is pre-snap. Now, you can make that same motion with the tight end uh, in the stretch play. And I still find it's best to not give away where you're going. I think that's one of the, um, you'll always have an advantage against the user in a formation like this. And if you make that motion, you lose that advantage. So it's really up to you if you want to lose that advantage, because I'd rather not, the user's the most dangerous guy on the field. I'd rather him not know whether I'm going left or going right. That's going to be my, uh, you know, advantage, especially when it comes to the passing plays. He's going to be chasing a lot of passing plays when I show that in part two. But ultimately, if you want to give yourself an overpowered look, say he, he say he knows you're going to run anyway, you could go ahead and do this, give yourself all that extra blocking, and then you can still have a lot of success. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see part two, like I said, I got a pass play in this that home runs every single defense in the game. Woo! Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I can put that out tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.